what is up there YouTube all right so the capacity check video number one had a lot a lot of really good comments and suggestions the one that makes the most sense is why I'm getting the voltage sag and whatnot is because I don't have the balance port hooked up which duh I mean now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it makes complete, it just makes complete sense. So what I'm going to do while that is finishing up charging, I'm going to make up a, you know, my version of some balance leads, hook it up and see if we can get some better readings. And according to the book here, I don't need to use this guy because there is not a 1S on here. It's only 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S on this guy right here. And according to this book, I really just have to plug in right to the side of the charger. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. And it looks like this. So it pretty much looks like I just have to plug into the first two pins and that's it. So I'm gonna make up uh, my style of, oh, here's Horace again. So I'm gonna make up my own, you know, style of balance lead and let's give it a try. Cattail. As soon as I start recording. Hi. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi. Some of the other suggestions would be to upgrade the wires that come out of the charger to the battery, since these ones are kind of small, but I'm gonna leave those for right now. I do possibly plan to make my own custom plug that'll come out of that and just plug right into the Anderson plugs that I have on here now. I just don't have any of the banana clips at the moment, so I'll just have to either find some or order some or unless somebody's got some randomly. Hi. Unless somebody's got a few laying around and want to send them to me, the address is down below. If not, uh, yeah, I'll just go get some. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi. That would be the other suggestions. I don't remember what the other ones are, but everybody basically said throw the balance leads on there. That should take care of the voltage sag problem because, duh, it should. All right, let's uh, let's make a balance lead. Yep, got to wade through the horde pile here to get over to my shelf. We got miscellaneous wires. Should be a bunch of miscellaneous wires and stuff in here. Misc wires. And enjoy your coffee. Um, let's see here. Well, since I like to use the ethernet cord for everything, I'm just gonna use these guys. And that. That was a power switch or something from a computer. That'll work perfect. Sweet. And it's red and black, so that's even better. All right, so we're just gonna solder these guys onto there. These are too long. They could be too long, but I'm just going to leave them a little long for the hell of it. That's my helping hand since I don't have any.
There we go, I got some little clippies now. Alright, so before we go over there and try out that balance lead, I was thinking I could at least hook up something like this on the Anderson plugs that are on the packs right now and make a complete loop on the bus bar all the way around. And that might help distribute the load a little evenly or more evenly. I just got to pull the yellow wires out of these guys because they don't fit with the gray ones that I have on the pack now. So I'm just going to swap these out real quick and then we'll get to it. And to get these out, you have to use a screwdriver or something on that little lever right there because on the bottom side of the plugs, they have a little ledge right here that that gets stuck on. So you just have to push that little guy down and then pull the wire out. Like so. Boom! All right, let's uh, let's get this started. Alrighty, so on the side of the charger here, it's got the cell one through 10, pretty much. And it looks like by cell one is the negative and the other end is positive. So all I need is pin one and pin two. And I just gotta make sure I put it in the right way. Pretty much like that is what I'm gonna do. That should work, right? All right, so I don't think this pack was fully charged yet. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit of charging before we do the discharge test, but we can at least get all this set up and make sure it's working and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm gonna throw these guys here on the end of the pack, which will make a, you know, a complete loop of the bus bar here. And I'm gonna do one on the other end down there. And these leads right here are still on there from the Harbor Freight Meter. And of course, this one is still on the negative side and it goes all the way to the shunt. So I think I'll just kind of like put these in the middle here roughly too. Something like that. Then I could probably, you know what I could do actually, is I could put like the positive of the charger right over here and then I could move the negative like back over here so it's kind of spread out. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I try that? Or at least as far as this will reach. But I guess I could technically just slide this over. All right, I'm gonna put him there. This is definitely a little bit of a mess here. Put a box underneath this so it's up a little bit higher so you can see it. Let me show you this uh, real quick and I'll grab my other meter so you guys can verify at least two meters with this. Of course I have to hold this one because it does not have, doesn't have clamps. All right, so they both read pretty much the same, 4.11 and 4.11. All right, so you guys happy with that? All right, good. All right, so we are on the LiPo charge. We're going to do 15 amps again, 3.7. All right, let's get this started. All right, so the antimatter is reading 4.37 volts and the Harbor Freight Meter is reading 4.14. What I'm thinking is maybe, I don't know, I don't mess with balance leads really ever besides the, the Batrium. So I don't know if these leads are too long. If they're too long, let me know and I can shorten them up. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I wouldn't think it would, but what do I know? Uh, the second option would be that this, of course, is supplying more voltage and it needs to get the rest of the battery pack up to 4.2 volts, which is typically how things work because it's not only just going to put out 4.2 volts and call it a day. It's usually going to put out more voltage. So I'm leaning on that, but we'll see. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it to like 20 amps and I want to see what it does on there. All right, 20 amps, start. Wow, we're actually putting out 20 amps. Nice, kind of just bouncing around a little bit there at 20. The cables are just a little bit warm. Well, should we go ahead and try the 30 amp one and see what happens there? I think we should.
Here we go. Yeah, it's that's pretty much well, it's about like 29 and a half. That's pretty damn good. Holy crap, I'm definitely not gonna leave it there because I don't want the battery cables to melt. So I'm gonna shut it off. Whoa. I was not expecting that, were you? No. Holy crap. A couple little minor things I gotta change, but other than that, I mean, this thing is badass. All right, so I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit, and then once it's fully charged, I will do the discharge test one more time, and we'll see what we got. You know, I was thinking while this is charging, I could still hook up the analog voltmeter just for the hell of it. Um, so why not do that? All right, I just have to cover up one of these this lead right here, so just in case it doesn't touch anything. And I'll just use electrical tape. And the ground has two leads on it, so I might as well just use both in random places. One on top, and one on bottom. Okie dokie, we are all full. We're all charged up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the discharge test right now. All right, voltage is 420. I think I'm gonna go on the Lilo setting again. I'm gonna go down to 2.73 like last one. All right, here we go. All right, well, it says the balance port cell high volume. So I'm guessing that's just uh, for the Lilo setting. Battery voltage is too high, so I might have to do it on the LiPo setting. Just gotta switch these two around real quick. Right, here goes. Beyonce might get in the picture now too. All right, so what I was gonna say right now is the voltage on the antimatter is at 3.82, and the voltage on the Harbor Freight meter is 4.18. So I don't know if the balance leads made much of a difference, but we'll let it go and see what happens. Okay. Well, wrote it down on my piece of paper here. All right, so that first test, which I did on the LiPo setting, we got a total of 209 amp hours, or 209.627, and it took a total of 13 hours and 56 minutes. And yeah, the, the voltage, it didn't go all the way down. So I don't know if those balance leads that I made or maybe they're too long. I was asking a few people if maybe the balance leads could be too long. And I think the consensus was that the length shouldn't technically matter. But I've also seen a bunch of like e-bike batteries or other batteries that have really, really long balance leads. So I don't know if that's part of the problem. I mean, I could shorten them and try another test, but I don't think I'm going to be doing any more. Well, I don't know. I can't say that for sure, but I'm going to recharge this one and we're going to change that fuse. And I'm also going to pull that cell out and take a look at it and do a capacity check. And if it's bad, then I'll replace it. Or if it's really low, I'll replace it. And then after that, I, I was actually here when the test ended. So then I went ahead and put it on the Lilo setting and that ran for a total of 52 minutes. And and we got another 12.845 amp hours. So if you combine the both of those, we got a total of 222 amp hours or 222.472. I don't know. So what do you guys think? What I mean, I mean, what what do you guys think uh, I should do next? 
Is there something else I should try with the balance leads or or what? Or I could just try to make some thicker cables coming out that actually attach to the battery. I mean, that could be part of the problem. I, I guess I'll try to get some of the banana clip leads things and uh, make some new cables for it and then maybe try it again. But anyway, like I was saying, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this test and whatnot? I guess I'll go ahead and recharge it. And once it's recharged, I'll give you another update for the green Fukushima cell and I'll capacity check it and replace that fuse yeah I guess I'll recharge it real quick or however long it takes and I'll see you on the next one and to recharge it all I have to do is swap these two cables around so the amp meter will read correctly and that's pretty much it and I'll just do it on another 15 amp charge All right, so let's go ahead and recharge this guy. Connection breakdown? What the f*** is that? Did I blow it up? And, and some of the other suggestions were, of course, to upgrade the... No, 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 dude. No, 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 that's battery wires. You don't want to chew on that. You're crazy. Crazy. Some of the, some of the other suggestions were to upgrade. No, dude, no, 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 no. Um, and since Radio Shack's not around here anymore or anywhere, I'll just have to order some. Um, uh, and clippy, clippy. I clip you. No, I clip you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was, but. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, but, um, main ports. I'm not sure what that means yet, but it's some sort of like error. 420. And start the discharge. Start the discharge. And there's Beyonce. Hi, girlfriend. Uh, the balance leads, if the balance lead um, and we got another 12.84. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And all I have to do to recharge it real, well, I keep saying real quick. Hey, what are you doing? 